Hi, Dr. Sandeep. My relative has breast cancer. Can a benign breast lump convert into a cancer? Can benign breast lump convert to cancer? This is a common question which I face in my practice because I get many young women or girls, you can say, coming to me asking, will this convert to cancer? Because they will find, you know, a report of uh, ultrasound done for some reason which would show a fibroadenoma or a cyst and that concern suddenly crops up. For the benefit, I will just classify the conditions which can lead to cancer and those which will not. So for that, we will put it into three groups. One, with no increased risk. Two, with mild increase in risk. And three, with a moderate increase in risk. There is nothing called a very severe increase in risk. These are only three categories exist as far as benign converting into malignant is concerned or benign converting to cancer is concerned. We'll look at the first group now. The most common thing which comes in ultrasound or any test which is done is they'll say fibroadenomas, fibroadenosis or breast cysts. These conditions do not have any risk in, of increase in breast cancer. They are all benign tumors or benign conditions. They do not have an increased risk at all. It doesn't mean that in you know, a person with fibroadenosis or any of these conditions does never develop breast cancer. They can develop in the rest of the breast. But these conditions per se do not convert to breast cancer. There are some other conditions which have a mild increase in breast cancer risk. So these are conditions like what is called as a radial scar. Radial scar is something which is diagnosed on a mammography. It is not something which you can see or which you can feel. You know, you do a mammography, the radiologist will report that there is a radial scar. So these have a mild increase in breast cancer risk. There are ductal hyperplasias, a disease of the duct where the duct is slightly, you know, thicker in size. These are called ductal hyperplasias. So there are a few conditions. These do form a lump, these ductal hyperplasias or duct papillomas. These conditions can lead to breast cancer, but these have a very mild risk. So you are justified in asking whether these conditions do cause and these conditions generally the doctor will either advise a biopsy for you or advise a surgery. The third category are the conditions which have a moderate risk of increase in breast cancer. There are only two conditions which we should remember and these two conditions will only be diagnosed either with a biopsy or after a removal of the lump. And these two conditions are called atypical ductal hyperplasia and lobular carcinoma in situ or also lobular ductal hyperplasia. These are the conditions which are diagnosed only after looking under the microscope. It is not a clinical diagnosis. I cannot put my hand and say this is this. So what do we do in these cases? If it's a biopsy, which has diagnosed this, we do a surgery to remove this lump or this area of the breast which is involved. And that alone will bring down the risk of future breast cancer. So in general, the most common lumps like the breast cyst or fibroadenoma does not progress to breast cancer. There are other rare entities of tumors which are called Philod's tumor. Philod's tumor is a different kind of a group of tumor and this type of tumor always requires surgery means we need to surgically remove these tumors and this type of tumor again very rarely has a risk of turning cancerous. So by far if you look at this plethora of things there are very few which can turn into cancer general by far the benign tumors do not change into cancers.